everyone, it's Jen. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and my craft table. So today I have a very short, sweet, and interesting project to bring to you. Yesterday in the mail, I received the most gorgeous bouquet of flowers. Then I did say mail. That's because the bouquet I received was from a company called Fresh Cut Paper. And it is basically a three-dimensional vase that pops up. Normally it comes flat like this in the envelope. And then you release a couple of tabs and then you get a three-dimensional vase and then your bouquet. And this is just gorgeous. It does come with a card from the, re, uh, the sender, just like a normal bouquet of flowers. And the envelope is gorgeous. So I was actually, originally I was just gonna throw the envelope away and something stopped me and I decided that, wow, that envelope is just as gorgeous as this bouquet of flowers. And it actually would be a great piece of art on the wall in the classroom. So what I've created is the artwork using the cardboard envelope that those flowers came in. Um, in this video, you will see how easy it is to create something like this with a frame, some really nice backdrop paper. You could use scrapbook paper, you could use cardboard envelopes, etc., cetera, um, and adhesive vinyl. Um, toward the end though, you'll see total relatable moment for any crafter. The adhesive vinyl decided not to play very nice. In the end, it worked out great. I did go ahead and leave that in the video just to show you that sometimes when we craft, they don't really come out perfect and that's okay. Um, you just stick with the project, you, you stick with your vision and ultimately it comes out the way you planned. Or maybe your new plan is better than your original one. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into the project and get started. So what I've done is I have cut this down to size to fit this gallery frame that I have here. And it's just gonna slide in underneath um, the top piece of glass. So, so I've got one piece of glass here, one piece of glass behind, and then this will just slide in like this this gets screwed back on there is a hanger on the back and the glass that is on the front we are actually going to put some vinyl on with a really nice frame for our craft space so that is why i have some just some white vinyl here some transfer tape scissors weeding tool and of course some measuring tape so let's head over to Design Space and let me show you what I've created to go with this particular backdrop. And this is just a great way to use an unexpected piece of art that shows up at your home. Okay, so here I am in Design Space and what I pulled up on my canvas is I have a pink square and I just got that out of the shapes portion here. The fourth one down I just made a square I unlocked the size and I made it the size of the opening of my frame so the frame is a seven and a half wide by nine and a half tall that's the opening that you see through and then I created um, well actually I found create in the the design space images and then I have the word a life you love and those are four text boxes so there's a couple things that I wanted to show you um, that I'm going to be doing to create this so let's move the create over here and I I do want it quite large um, I am going to center it horizontally like this okay that was pretty good and then I have um, what I want to do is turn this uh, uh, into kind of a um, arched shape. So I'm going to come up here to warp and I'm going to click on number one and I'm just going to kind of 
move it down a little bit and check and see if I like the arch of that. And actually, let's move this back over here so we could see it. So we want create here. And let's go back into warp and see if we want it a little bit more. Actually, I think I think 13 is pretty well. I don't know. Let's go back into warp here. So here's the straight version. I click on number one and it's at 30. I think a 30 is a little too big. So I'm going to just kind of adjust it down. Um, 18 looks about good. All right. So then I've got two, actually I have four text boxes and then these are just, um, phrases and I just use my regular text. So the alike is a font that is called cowboy. Now this is a font that I've downloaded and I believe I downloaded it from creative Fabrica and installed it. So that when I go into the font menu up here at the top, I would find that under system. Okay. So I have a life and I think these are spaced pretty good. I'm going to go to select both of them, go to align and align bottom. That way that I know that they're exactly like on the same line. And then I want to click attach because I want them to cut exactly in that format. And I'm just going to move that up here under the create kind of under the arch. And that's really the way the word life kind of goes up and down is how I came up with the idea to um, arch the, cre the create at the top. And then I have um, the you and the love. And I think, let's see, I want to make you just slightly bigger, not too much. I'm just going to size that visually. Okay, and move that over. I think that, I think that's a good size. So we'll put that that right there and then we'll move the love up next to it and I think the love is a good size it's sometimes I just kind of move it on top of the other word and make sure it's not too big or too small comparatively so we're going to put both of those there and then something that I want to do with the love which love is one text box if I come over here to ungroup all of these letters will now be separate and then I can click on them and just move them a little bit closer to each other. And I think that I want them definitely to be closer to each other. Little, we'll move that E back over and F. Okay. And then I'm just kind of checking. They're all the same size. I know I do want to select all, go to align, align bottom, and just kind of double check that I like their spacing. Because here in just a second, I am going to attach them. So align bottom. Okay, so I think that is good. I'm going to hit attach because I want those to cut all together. And then the word you, that is just your basic text box. So I need to attach those. So, so far I have create, which was a design space image. And then four text boxes, the you, the love, and the alike phrase. Each one of those are individually um, attached um, so that the letters will cut all together. And then I do want to align the U and the love. 
Now, when I do a line bottom, that's what that does. So let me go back up and do a line top. Okay, so from this perspective, that looks pretty good. And I'm going to click attach. That way, these will cut exactly the way you see them there. So I'm kind of doing a lot of attaching because once I have something the way I like the design, I don't really want to change it. Okay, so now vertically, I just want to see if that is a good placement vertically. Kind of what looks like there's about three in here. Let's see, that'd be, well, about two and a half. So I think that looks good. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select all of them. I'm going to go to align and I'm going to center horizontally. So now everything is lined up horizontally from left to right. And I want to, I want to attach those just like that. So now when I bring this over here on top, it'll look like this. And I can place it a little bit closer to the bottom, closer to the top, in the middle. So I, this is how it'll be oriented on my frame. So I think this is a pretty good size. And I just, I love that. I think it's going to be wonderful. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do is want to check this out in the Make menu. So I'm going to go ahead and hide the pink uh, box. We don't need to cut that. That just represents the, the uh, cardboard that's in the frame. And I'm going, going to go ahead and click Make. Oh, it wants me to save. So here, let's see. Um, create life you love and I'll hit save now it'll go to my make screen and I just want to make sure that I have everything the way I need it so this is going to cut out exactly like this which is great because I really just need to get a piece of vinyl that is about um, it looks like seven by eight and um, Let's go ahead and get that ready so that we can cut that out and get this onto our frame. Before I go to go and actually cut the material, I'm going to go ahead and click continue. And I'm going to go ahead and choose my settings. And that way, when I cut this off camera, it'll be ready to go. I'm just going to connect to the maker and my material is just going to be the premium um, removable vinyl and I want default pressure that'll be fine I do have my fine point blade loaded in and so now I'm going to go ahead load my mat and follow the prompts to get this cut out Okay, so we've got all this cut out and I am going to take this off of the mat by flipping it over and just peeling the mat away from the vinyl. And I'm going to set that aside. Okay, and the next thing that I want to do is to go ahead and weed this out. Um, let's see. I think that I'm going to start with the middle and I'm sorry that it's hard for you to see it is a white on white and so in fact sometimes I even have to move it around just to catch the glimmer of the light above me and by the way if you see any little white spots on my my mat, I apologize ahead of time. I need to get some little filter covers for my overhead lights so that they're not so strong on my glass mat. 
And let's see, we got one here. Yes, so I was super excited to get that envelope and just turn that into something beautiful. Of course, I, I have a really small scrap space. In fact, it's really kind of like my, um, more like my dining area, really, that we don't really use as a dining area. And so I'm working on, um, I want to do a pegboard system on the wall, but I need a little bit more artwork. I've got my silk paintings that I've done, but I just... I don't know, I wanted something a little extra, and this really fit the bill. Oh yeah, this is weeding so nicely. Actually, let me, that's a pretty big chunk. Okay, cut this off there. and we'll just kind of clear it out and perfect okay so you can actually see that pretty good create a life you love and I just like oh there you go I was just about to say I like to double check that I got all the little pieces and parts okay so now I'm going to take my transfer tape and I'm going, I'm going to actually cut this and piece it over here, but I am super excited about this little project. And I'm also excited about summer coming. We, we have about, oh, we have about 14 more days until summer day is coming which will be nice. And then, um, then I can do a lot of creating and a lot of hiking and a lot of organizing of my projects. Okay, so I'm just going to start here in the top left. And I, Especially large projects like this, I tend to not pull all the transfer tape off all at one time because I inevitably make a mess of it. Alright, so it looks like, well, I'll just feel, I'll do two inches. So I am curious, what do you have in your craft space? that is like your favorite piece of decor. Your favorite piece of decor. I don't have a ton of decor in my craft space, but I'm working on limiting that. I also want my decor to be kind of functional, so I'm looking at a really nice pegboard system. Okay. So I'll do a quick burnish on the front. Okay, and a little quick burnish on the back. Okay, so I'm gonna bring back in this frame. Okay, so and I apologize ahead of time for any light spots that show up. So this is actually like a little gallery frame. My husband loves frames and I kind of stole it from him, but he wasn't using it. So it needed something pretty. And um, I just made sure it was clean. And this is the back piece of glass. And I went ahead and just made sure that this, this size was you know the full piece of glass so I cut that to size and then this is the front frame now before we put this together I am going to I do need to 
clean it with a little bit of rubbing alcohol, handling this glass, and we'll keep getting in fingerprints all over it. I'm gonna try and just touch the corners. Bring back in the frame again with just the corners. Slide right in like that. Okay, and then this piece just goes here at the bottom like that. But I do have to turn it over and put these other screws in. This is actually kind of a nice frame. I, I want to say he got it at Hobby Lobby. Um, he was displaying something. I don't know if he got it there or not. I think it was Hobby Lobby. Because he was asking me to go back to Hobby Lobby and get some more frames. Now, it also did not come with a hanger, so I added this. Um, little hanger and I like these because they have a white um, I don't really know what to call that but it's a white piece here that actually holds the nail it's already there for you and it just makes for tapping that in really really easy okay so now got that and it's so clean okay so now I am going to just pick up this corner and I'm only going to pull off the first inch or so because I want to make sure that I'm getting this where I want it to be. So now, just to make sure that I have that where I want it to be, that's about, let's see, it's about one and a half centimeters there, about one and a half centimeters there. So horizontally, that looks great. And then about well, almost four. And I don't want to put that down. So it's a little bit. Okay. I'm just kind of eyeballing. This is at about 3.75. And this is at about three. and a half ish and then again with the okay so I think that's good okay one more quick check because I do not want to have to pull this up and redo it. Okay. And then this just kind of comes off like a handle. Now what do we have going on here? gonna have to do a little a little surgery really fast so okay so I'm gonna have to 
fix that corner there in just a moment. But in the meantime, I think I'm going to pull this up and then fix it because this is definitely not wanting to come Okay, so my grand plan of only pulling off a little at a time definitely did not work. So I am going to put this down. And then the rest of this can go. Oh, and we're missing an E. this word creates so sometimes we get a design that we absolutely love and it does not make focus so I will fix I'll probably have to fix that one spot right here and then I will put the E on separately so Isn't that just like life? You know, you have a plan and in your plan goes a little, a little awry and well, that's okay. We'll just adjust our plan. going to fix this E here because this will be easy. Okay. And I think this and I may go ahead and take this word create off and fix it, you know, redo it. But I really want to see if I can make it work because there we go. I think I don't know. I think I was able to get all this coaxed into place. Um, I might still take this part up and redo just this part, but ultimately it looks good. I may put it on the wall and just kind of let that marinate and see if it really bothers me. It's, you know, it's my own little crafter, so... If, if it was a gift, I would completely take it up immediately. But it is just for me. And quite frankly, I don't think I'm going to really see that on the wall. Looking, you know, in my camera, I don't, I don't see it from your perspective. You wouldn't be able to tell. I think everything is exactly, you know, the way it needs to be. So, anywho, that is the, our completed project. Just wanted to do something short and sweet and easy. So if you ever get like some kind of background that would make some great wall art, don't toss it away. Put it under glass, put something really um, nice on top and add it to your space. 
All right, so that will be it for today. In the meantime, um, make sure that you are taking care of yourself and enjoying your time to create. And I will see you in the next video. But in the meantime, happy crafting. Thank you all so much for watching today. I'm so glad that you can join me at my craft table. If you're not already, I'd love to have you as a subscriber and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos arrive. Have a great day and as always, happy crafting.